Okay, uh, this is Mike from Cannabis Aquaponics, Aquaponics Cannabis, um, bringing you yet another video full, chock full of information for your aquaponics grow. Um, I read an article uh, just last night about the advantages of um, molasses and actually milk, to believe it or not. I've never seen anything out there that suggests that milk would be a nutrient. Um, I, I'm going to attach at the bottom of this the actual link to the article that I read, and you would be amazed at the uh, benefits. Um, there was this 10-year study on the advantages of, of milk alone. Uh, milk actually um, has sugars in it. There's tons of uh, nutrients in it, and you can actually use it for your grow um, your grow uh, area, your, your plants, and spray it. You can pour it directly into uh, your soil. Um, and also, it's um, a great fungus killer, mold killer. You can spray that on your mold if you have it on your plants. Also, any soft-bodied um, insect includes uh, any uh, like uh, spider mites or anything soft body that will kill that also. Now can you imagine being able to use milk and it won't kill any other, like I got aquaponics, it's not going to kill my fish. So to me I'm just thrilled. So I can spray it on the outside of my plants. The plants take the sugars from the milk, um, especially during flowering time. Uh, the it's excellent, excellent according to this article. I'm going to give it a shot. This is the first, uh, um, I've tried this, I'll see, I'm going to actually use this to spray on my plants and also I am going to use it on my vermicomposting in my worm um, compost bin. So what um, I understand is what we need is some milk and they say use raw milk but uh, the way the government has outlawed raw milk you're not going to be able to find that. So I just ran down to the grocery store picked up a gallon of whole milk. Um, you're going to need some molasses. I use grandma's here. Grandma is excellent. Now the only thing I'm finding out about with molasses is that it has sugar beets in it. And everybody knows about GMOs, uh, genetically modified organisms. Sugar beets is 100% gene genetically modified. And spraying this on your plant and your, and your uh, compost bins and all that, I'm not too thrilled about that anyway. So. Um, so you need the molasses and then you have your spray jar. I'm going to spray. You can pour the milk directly um, on your garden. Oh, another thing about milk. I didn't realize this. Milk is actually um, sprayed on your lawn. It will um, keep all the bugs, the insects, uh, caterpillars, everything out of your lawn. It'll, it'll uh, just uh, grow your lawn tremendously and also um, kill weeds. The, the weeds, for some reason, can't digest the sugars in the milk. Same with um, with uh, soft-bodied bugs, uh, spider mites, any kind of flying insects. They don't have a pancreas to digest the sugar in the milk and it'll kill them. And same with the weeds. The weeds cannot handle uh, the pros uh, you know, the w processing of the, the nutrients and the sugars in the milk and it'll kill weeds. So it's excellent for your lawn. Um, for your flowering plants, for your growing plants, for vegetation. I'm going to try it. So anyways, here's what I got going. It says to use 20% of whatever you need, whatever you're using for the milk. So I got my milk here and um, I can't do this holding onto my camera but I'm going to give it a shot. And um, um, you can use absent salt and I, I never realized that actually absent salt is not a salt. So I'm going to pour about 20% in my spray bottle and um, I'm going to make this video shorter, so I'm looking at about 20% of milk right about there. So then I have my molasses right here. I'm going to take a little bit of, I should have put this in there first because I'm going to shake this up because molasses, as you know, is pretty thick. And um, I'm going to take roughly about a quarter teaspoon or so by the time it gets in there. As you can see that, well that's strong smelling stuff. And then I have a mixture of Epsom salt in my gallon of water, as you can see right here, and a little bit of molasses in that that I spray on. Uh, so I'm doing the hookup, and I'm going to actually fill that jar up. And you can see it's kind of washing that molasses around a little bit. I'll get that all stirred up there so that molasses will mix into my hookup here. 
You can see I still got a little molasses on my spoon. That's why I put a little extra in my jug already and shook that up. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, so I'm spilling over. You can see that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is not clean up that mess because this is actually the top of my grow, I mean my vermicomposting bin. And I noticed on my uh, bin that a compost, vermicomposting bin that I had um, drawn some kind of actual bugs, flying bugs. And these bins are um, going to go out in the yard here. It's supposed to warm up and uh, stay above freezing from now on. So I'm going to set these back outside for, I don't like that, for the summer. But anyways, folks, um, you can use this and you can um, spray this on your plants. You can spray it on your lawn, you can spray it in your compost bin, you can spray it all around your grow area, on the, you know, anywhere you're going to think you're going to have bugs. Um, there's no pesticides, it's antifungal, you spray it on your mold, mold. it'll get rid of all the, the mold. Um, so let's give it a shot, maybe I'll give you an update, um, and we'll see from there. So there you go guys, just another chock full of information from Aquaponics Cannabis. Have a great day, talk to you soon, bye now.